Welcome, and here are the legendary formant filters of the Mixter Tritonian in a Eurorack format, and uh, they were built for me by Tritonics. There are four of them in this module. They have a very simple architecture. Uh, first of all, we have an input gain stage. Next, we have a toggle switch. We can go between 6 kHz and 640 Hz as the bandwidth points for our cutoff frequency control, which is here. Next, we have a toggle switch. We can bypass the filter and just hear the sawtooth wave that the subharmonic uh, generator produces. Uh, we have a bandpass mode and a low pass mode. And finally, a resonance control. So let's hear the raw sound of the Tritonium. It's worth doing because if we drive the input gain stage of the filter, we do get a subtle interaction as the waveform begins to soft clip. So let's try it with the gain up. the output stage of the subharmonic generator and the input stage of the filter. Now let's activate the low pass filter. We'll put it in 6 kilohertz mode and we've got the resonance down and we'll addition a sweep of that. strong sine wave resonances around that fundamental and the harmonics. Try it in the 640 mode. mode. Bring the cue down again and we'll addition a sweep of that. Three 
waters. And again, round about this point, you hear those resonant peaks. Six kilohertz mode and bang pass. Bring up the resonance. Again, we have these sine wave resonances. If we crank it to uh, the resonance up all the way, you'll notice that the sine wave becomes more prominent in the bypass mode. These filters have uh, a considerable antiquity. They were designed in 1930 by Friedrich Trautwein and uh, perhaps owing to their antiquity uh, there was no volume, uh, sorry, no voltage control. Uh, Oscar Sahler, the main exponent of the Troutonium, generally tend to use these filters to set a timbral colour for the part he was playing. And so you can get quite a nice reedy type effect at this setting. Around about here, sound gets fuller, as we would expect, and here we get into our reedy type sounds, colours. I think this is the uh, distinctive and unusual characteristic of these filters is that they have this acoustic, uh, quite worldly yet simultaneously unworldly kind of feel about them, which is what I like. Anyway, although we have no voltage control, put a camera shake there for you. As I was saying, although we have no voltage control, we can of course animate this filter manually. On the original monophonic Troutonium, 
we had access to two filters in parallel. They could be set to any combination of modes or bypass. So we'll, in this instance, we'll try a mixture of bandpass and low pass filters. I'll just set uh, the frequency of our subharmonics to the same and I'll bring up the gain on this uh, output stage. filter With the development of the subharmonic generator in the 1950s, Oscar Solod came to this arrangement whereby each of the output stages of the subharmonic generator, each producing its own sawtooth, would have its own filter, which could be sent in any way. The subharmonic generator derived uh, subharmonic pitches or frequencies from a master oscillator these could be set differently so chords could be played. I'll give you an example of this. Here's our top voice. Here's our second subharmonic with a low pass filter setting. Our third subharmonic, a different band pass setting. And the fourth, another band pass setting, which together would sound like this. And I shall now give you a brief performance demonstration of how that works out in practice. I trust that's given you some sort of insight into the capabilities of these very antique filters from the very beginning of uh, subharmonic synthesis. The Tritonium could produce many other types of colours and effects through its ADSR LFO. It also was equipped with a noise generator and of course lots of other studio techniques and tricks are available to pro further process sounds and then later came a very distinctive frequency shifter at some point in the future i will endeavor to delve into the mysteries of the subharmonic generator that you see here Thank mm -hmm. you.